What's going on guys? Paul from Savage Bass, of course. What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to rig the perfect drop shot. What you're going to need is some line, drop shot hook, and a drop shot sinker. What you're going to do, I'm using 8 pound test fluorocarbon. I believe this is P-line. Don't really use anything over that 8 or under all the way down to four. You can use two if you want. You're getting crazy. Eight pound test fluorocarbon. What you're gonna do is you're gonna tie the polymer knot to your hook. And do not cut off the tag end. I'll explain that in a second. You're gonna tie your polymer knot. All right, so that tag end. What you're gonna do with that you're going to take your tag end and you're going to thread it back through the eye of your hook. And what that's going to do when you pull that tight is it's going to make your hook stand out straight on the line. And that's exactly what you want for drop shotting. The rest of it is very simple. You leave about a foot line, foot or so, a little more. I like usually go foot and a half. This is depending on how deep the water is you're fishing and what kind of bottom you're fishing on. So we'll go foot and a half. You're going to put your drop shot sinker, you're going to thread the line through it. I love these sinkers, they're very easy. It's just a ball sinker. And all you have to do, you don't even have to tie a knot, you just pull it up. See how it has that? It's not going to focus because it's an iPhone. You're just going to pull it up into that groove that it has there. You're going to trim off, leave about half inch there. And there's your drop shot rig. Let's go fish this thing. Oh, there's a little sunfish right there. Oh my god, I think I killed him. wonder if he'll hit my drop shot. He might. Oh, I wish you guys could see this thing in the water. It looks so good. All right, they're busting all over. We gotta, we gotta get over there. Oh, we're on. It's a dink, but we're on. Oh, get out of the grass. Guys, that was like third cast. It's very small fish. But that's all right, that's all right. It's a pretty fish, that's all that counts. See you later, dude. He crushed the drop shot. Messed it up pretty good, that's all right. Now that you guys know how to rig it, you could fix it no problem. All right, let's get another one. So all I was doing there was basically letting the thing sit, I'm just barely moving it. That little worm's gonna bring some uh, bring some bass over from quite a ways in some clear water. I'm gonna go for this little. I don't even know what color this is, like green back, a little watermelon, it's looking good. I have faith in that color. So like before guys, nose hook it. Can't go wrong. Throw it right along that, that weed edge. There's one. Oh! Pretty little jump. These are some pretty small fish we're catching. I'm robbing the cradle. Guys, this hook set, this is why I like the nose hook right here. I just leaned back into that fish and the hook set could not have been better. Oh God. Oh God, what did we do?
Guys, you cannot see it, but there are some bass really bullying a sunfish right now. Bass are such bullies. Just trying to lay some eggs. They're like, oh, what are you doing, stupid, huh? Oh, there's one. Nope, never mind. Took my worm, too. Great. What are you doing, stupid? What are you laying your eggs? Yeah, we did that like three months ago. Freaking loser. It's been fun. It's been fun. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, comment. Let me know how your guys' drop and, sh drop and shot and experiences were. Alright. Signing out.